Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be updating my perfume tray. I change them out depending on the season or if I'm trying a new fragrance or just showing an old fragrance some love. I can do a monthly tray and I focus on those fragrances so that I can give those fragrances use. And that way I can see dents in my bottles and I can feel like I'm giving my collection love. So this right now is August tray and I did do updates on these fragrances. So if you are interested or if you're new here and you would like a more in-depth review of the fragrances that you see on the tray now, go ahead and check out my channel, my perfume diaries videos. Those are updates and I talk about all of these fragrances in detail. So in this video, I'm just going to be switching out the perfumes and we are pretty much done with summer fragrances. So these are going to go back into my collection until probably next spring. I'm going to be focusing now on more thicker fragrances. Gourmand, sexy fragrances, fragrances that are great for colder weather. I really gave my summer perfumes a lot of love, but I am ready for the change. I'm ready for gourmands and for spicy fragrances, and I'm just very excited. So, so I'm going to go ahead and take all of the fragrances out of the tray. I'm going to give it a quick little wipe down, and then we will begin filling up the tray. All right guys, so I'm super excited to fill up September's perfume tray. It is officially fall for me. I already decorated in my house for fall. So for September, I'm going to kind of transition into thicker fragrances, gourmands, deeper scents. I have some vanillas, I have some coffee, I have new releases that I want to continue to test out. I also have fragrances that are perfect for in between those summer, days between fall days and some days it gets hot some days it gets cooler so i do have a few that should work no matter how it's feeling outside so let's go ahead and let's get started the first one that i'm going to be adding to the perfume tray is one that i got a few months ago and i actually i've been letting this sit for all of these months it's been probably like maybe four months somewhere around there and i wanted to see how this would smell after it has sat for a few months see if i like it or if it's one that i'm going to get rid of and this is Shaga Oud Tonka by Swiss Arabian. This is an almondy fragrance. It's supposed to be sweet and fluffy. I don't remember the exact notes, but for sure I know there is almond in this fragrance and almond is one of my favorite notes in perfume, depending on how it's done. So I'm excited to give this one some more use. This is going to be the first fragrance I add to the tray. Next up, I'm going to add a fragrance that has been discontinued, but I have not worn this in a long time and I need to wear this before it goes back because then that would just be a sin. So this is by Giorgio Armani and this is C. Fiori. This is one of my favorites from this line. It's a creamy, almost like strawberry milkshake type of perfume, super girly and feminine. And the color of the bottle is perfect. It's like a pink girly type of fragrance, but it has a creaminess to it at the same time. Super beautiful. Next up, I'm going to be adding Clean Reserve Skin. It's the perfect time to bring out this fragrance. This is a second skin type of scent, but it also has a little bit of a warmth, almost a gourmand type of feeling to it, but not thick at all and not too sweet. It is the perfect touch and it's perfect for every day during fall season. Next up, I'm going to be adding two replica fragrances. The first one is going to be their latest release, which is Afternoon Delight. This fragrance was given gifted to me by Replica. And so far this fragrance has been a win for me. I know that many, many people are struggling with this one. They're saying that they're getting a milky kind of sour note out of this perfume. So definitely make sure that you try this out before you purchase a full bottle. But from what I can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I already feel like this is starting to darken a little bit. When I first got this bottle, it was completely clear and I do see a little bit of deepness coming through. So I know that this is going to end up being really, really good and I'm excited because it was a strong like when I first got it, but the more that I've been spraying it, I know it's going to turn out into the types of scents that I love for fall time. So cannot wait to wear this one this month. That one just made me crave one of my other favorite scents from Replica, which is a very unique 
fragrance. I'm going to get into this fragrance when I do my updates, but this fragrance is called Coffee Break, and it's also from Replica. This is so unique. This is coffee. There is lavender in here. It's creamy, and I've had it for like two, three years now, so this is just amazing. I cannot wait to wear this, and I love to wear this to bed, to get cozy, read a book, watch a movie, watch a show, that type of vibe, or if I'm just lounging in my house, or even to run errands during the day during fall it is perfect next up we're going to add some gourmands i'm super duper excited about these the first one is a very affordable fragrance and this is by sabrina carpenter this is sweet tooth this is the perfect just sweet gourmand fluffy chocolatey type of scent it's not too chocolatey but i have not worn it since last fall so we're not going to get into too much about how it smells because i need to refresh my memory but this i know was a love and i believe it made it to my favorites videos as well next up i have a fragrance from diad and this one is called rise and shine and this one is an eau de parfum this is also a gourmand fragrance i believe there is cardamom in here coffee there's cinnamon sticks in the packaging so this fragrance does have a really nice spice to it and this one's gonna be really, really nice this fall season. This is even a nice fragrance to wear during Thanksgiving. It's just giving those vibes. Really, really nice. Next up, I'm going to be adding a Juliana's perfume fragrance that I tried out in one of my videos that I talked about their fragrances and I got Apple Rum Delight. I am gonna put what it is inspired by on the screen, but this just smelled so amazing and perfect for fall. It's the perfect apple, but not summer apple. This is a very fall apple without it being too thick or too spicy. It is the perfect fall scent. So I am going to be wearing this one this month, testing it out and letting you guys know how I feel about this fragrance. Next up, I'm going to be bringing out one of my favorite fragrances and I love to wear this one mostly during fall even though I do love it year round but there's something about this fragrance during fall that I just really love and this is Kayali this is Eden Juicy Apple and this is one of my top fragrances as you can see it has a pretty good dent going on this is like an easy reach for me it's musky berries red apple it's super juicy and I love it so so much next up I have been craving this one for a bit and this is one that I've had flankers of and I have ended up decluttering all of them and just kept the original. This is Burberry Her and this is a fluffy strawberry. It's definitely musky as well and as you can see pretty big dent on this one as well so I'm excited to give this one some more love this month. Next up we have another fall favorite. This is Philosophy and this is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Look at the color of this bottle. I feel like as the years go by, you guys that have been with me for a long time have seen these fragrances just get better and better. Some of them end up leaving, some of them end up becoming love. So this one's another great one for fall time and it's just so yummy. It's like a vanilla scent. I believe it's a little woody as well, but again, have not worn these since last year. So I'm so excited to start wearing these. Next up is a release from last year. So this one's one that I know I ended up really, really loving but we're gonna get to know each other even better this time around it's had a year to develop into what it wants to be so this month i'm going to be wearing burberry goddess a lot and i'm just excited to see how this has changed because i have not picked this up in a really long time so this is a vanilla with lavender kind of similar to mon guerlain but yeah very excited to wear this Next up, I'm going to be adding Fleur's Vanilla Skin. This is one that I also got recently. I'm excited to add this one to this tray and wear it some more. See how I'm liking it this fall season as well. Next up is one that I want to see if this is still a love for me. I actually didn't wear this one that much last fall. So I really want to focus on seeing if I want to keep this, if I want to let it go. But I do remember my husband really loving this perfume. So this is La Nuit Tresor a La Folie, I believe is the name, but the bottle is so nice. But yeah, I'm very excited for this one. And last but not least, I'm going to be putting a few fragrances from the Seven Virtues. I 
am going to be adding amber vanilla, which I fell in love with last year. And this one was just kind of like glossy AU, but this one to me just felt a little lighter on the pink pepper. So it's not as fresh spicy as you, if you do pick up that spiciness from the pink pepper. So this one's a little bit smoother, but it's the same second skin beautiful type of perfume scent. Just perfect for every day, for bedtime, easy reach. Love this one. Next up, I'm going to be adding Vanilla Woods, which was sent to me by The Seven Virtues not too long ago. And this one smells like Casablanca from Swiss Arabian. This one also kind of used to remind me of La Belle, kind of like the pear that's in La Belle. I do need to wear this one and see how I feel about it now. It smells really good now, but I am kind of picking up the plum. So it's kind of starting to remind me of Maud Vanilla. So I have to see what happens with this one and how I feel when I have it on. We'll see. We'll talk about this one this month. And last but not least is their latest release and this one is Candied Lychee. This is like a pink peony, pink roses mixed with a sparkling fruity touch in there. Very feminine and girly. I'm very excited to wear this one and see how this one develops over the next month. So that is the last scent I am adding to the perfume tray. And then for travel sizes, I'm going to put some right next to the tray that I want to kind of catch you guys up on, give an update because I've either featured these in perfume hauls and then haven't talked about them. So we're gonna talk about Carousel by Brown Girl Jane. I'm gonna add that on there. I'm also going to add the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Orchid to see how this one is smelling now that it has been sitting for a few weeks. And also the Nest Vanilla Bourbon. I'm going to see how I feel about these now that they have had time to sit. So there is our... September perfume tray. I'm super excited about these perfumes. I cannot wait to take a shower in a little bit and pick one of these fragrances, which I don't know. I'm feeling like maybe I'm going to do coffee break from Replica. That is going to be it from me today. Comment down below. Let me know which ones you are excited to talk about this month, which ones you love, which ones you can't wear. I hope that you guys are just as excited as me. I feel like summer took a little long actually and I was ready to just switch of my content and changing seasons is always so refreshing because now we're done with the summer perfumes and now we get to go into different categories and it just makes me feel motivated and ready to create content so give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in the next one